At what point does abusing exploits become too far? Isn't when someone tries to get you banned on a Minecraft server for no reason? At the moment, Hypixel stands out with the largest player base among all of the Minecraft servers. However, though, being at the number one spot also involves a lot of liability. The way that Hypixel earns revenue is by selling in-game products such as ranks. Now, these ranks come with different perks that you can get in-game, and they're supposed to separate you from the average new player on the server. You have the ability of buying these digital items for yourself on the Hypixel store. However, this is when you come across a page telling you to type your in-game name, so whatever you purchase goes to you. But this is actually the major problem. Hypixel store system, while designed with the best intentions, has been exploited by some people to cause harm to other Hypixel players. Now basically, these players manipulate the system by entering someone else's in-game name, making an unauthorized purchase. You log into Hypixel and it says that someone bought you a rank. But then you click OK and then you see this message saying, Attention, you will be banned in 6 days for reversing a store payment without Hypixel Network's consent. Contact the Hypixel support team to resolve this issue. Now what happened there was someone actually reversed the payment that they made when buying you a rank, which creates the false impression to Hypixel that the player whose IGN was wrongly used on the store is now attempting to charge back, which is a fraudulent act by cancelling the payment. Now this is due to the fact that from Hypixel perspective they provided you the rank which was then paid for but then that payment was actually retracted and now it appears that the player is trying to get the rank without actually paying for it. Hypixel uses the merchant called Tebex or also known as Bycraft to run all their payments through and their terms of service state that this transaction is final and there are no refunds. If that user does not end up actually contacting Hypixel within those six days they will receive a ban on the server. Now what they have to do now is make an appeal and prove to Hypixel that it wasn't them that actually charged back. It was someone else that was just trying get them banned. But further steps have to be taken if Hypixel wants to safeguard their store from fraud. Now I think a system needs to be implemented that verifies the user making a purchase is in fact the one associated with their Minecraft account. Like they shouldn't be able to enter a random person's IGN on the Hypixel store to buy them something. Now that doesn't mean that they can't buy something for their friend. What they can do is they can actually purchase gold and then slash gift the individual that they want to give the rank through in game. I do think that could be an interesting idea if you're allowed to buy yourself a rank and other things on the Hypixel store but if you want to buy it for someone else it has to be through the in-game slash gift feature because not only does it go through the Hypixel server but if the person charges back the gold that they bought they'll literally get banned themselves right so if they buy gold and gift it to someone they can't charge back that rank because it wasn't processed through the actual website not only that but when you give someone something it actually asks them for their permission if they want to accept the rank or decline the rank and you also have to be in the same lobby with them i feel like this could be something to consider where the store is only for you and you can't use it for other people i don't know if they would be losing revenue doing this obviously i don't know like the back end how much they make of, of other people buying friends ranks but i think doing this would eliminate a lot of chargeback obviously if they don't want to do that i think it should be mandatory to have your own profile on the store where you have to link your minecraft account to the hypixel store to make sure they know who's buying the ranks why does the person that they buy it for get banned and not the person that charged back. I feel like if they did this, the person that charged back would also get banned because in order to purchase something, they need to have a Minecraft account link. Now, although Hypixel doesn't have a lot of control with this, it's mainly their payment processor, which is Tebex. They have done two things to help combat this issue. They added a procedure called chargeback threshold. What this is, is basically if you charge back on a different server that uses Tebex, it will be added to your account. And then if you charge back a certain amount of times, let's say you charge back five times, you will no longer be allowed to purchase anything from the Hypixel store once you reach this threshold. Now, we don't know what the threshold is, whether it's two chargebacks or three. I think it should just be one or two, but I think it's good that they did implement this. So it will literally just permanently ban people that try and purchase something from Hypixel just because of their past payment history, but it still doesn't completely eliminate the issue. I really think that Hypixel could benefit from that profile system, creating your own account on the store, and then they can direct their punishment towards that 
bad account instead of the innocent player that did nothing. Every Hypixel player needs to know this because anything can happen and Hypixel can be ruined if they continue doing this. I do really think this needs to stop happening because it can completely ruin the experience for some players and it's crazy to think that some random player can just get you banned for no reason on the server. Let's say you completely ignore that message. I've read another comment saying that some guy just clicked OK when he saw this pop up in game because it just looked like a normal Hypixel promotion. A note pops up on your screen with I don't know like Hypixel 65% off on the store something like that and some people just completely ignore it. I do really feel bad for those people because they'll end up getting banned. This exploit was done to a few creators previously and it's unfortunate that Hypixel doesn't have that much control when it comes to this but this video on the screen right now answers the question why Minecraft bridging died so quickly. Make sure you go check it out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.